Represented by the Stevenson's Gallery in Cape Town, the work of photographer and visual activist Zanele Muhuli transverses the difficult and often shunned spaces of the lesbian, gay and transgendered members of our society. In a world marred by homophobic attacks and corrective rapes, Zanele's work is a seamless but brash juxtaposition of love and violence. The photographs that you see here um, are scenes or the enacted scenes from the case of Cesarele and Salome who were found murdered in Johannesburg in 2007. And there was a campaign that was uh, initiated called Triple Seven, which meant that on the 7th of, Jan of July 2007, two young women were killed in their own township in Johannesburg, so to Midlands. And their uh, feet were tied with shoelaces, and then the pants were pulled down. And uh, it's believed that they were raped before they were shot. But what's fueling this culture of violence and intolerance against gays and lesbians in a constitutional democracy? Or are the reports a mere exaggeration of what's really going on? It's rife. These are ongoing hate crimes that are reported at police stations that we get to see some of the, of the, the cases or some of the funerals, you know, uh, on our TVs, you know. There's nothing that people are hiding anymore. It is a problem, it has been a problem. We know when UD was killed in Guatemala, it became a public outcry. Uh, out, outcry. The, 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 the story was in the news, was in the newspapers, was in, in, on TV, was on radio, etc. So those, I can't say these are like only two or three cases or these are recent things. These have been like ongoing for some time now. Life and death, love and hate are some of the themes that feature quite prominently throughout her work. These ones also are other crime scenes. Um, I do between crime scenes and portraits and real events, as in the funerals, etc., etc. So this is a crime scene of Yudis Milani, who was murdered in 2008 in Johannesburg, in Guatemala. In August 2009, Minister of Arts and Culture Lulu Tsingwane walked out of an exhibition that featured Muhuli's work, calling it immoral, offensive and going against nation building. Maybe it's because um, I don't see nothing shocking about it, because you deal with the body, you deal with the form, and the bo that's where we come. We come from skin and the very same skin perishes. So it goes beyond just what people see, but then the problem is when people make assumptions and they start degrading and vilifying and undermining and become violent. Here I'm aiming at uh, capturing more than 500 uh, portraits over a period of time. So this is my sixth year, maybe it will take me another four, four years to come up to the number, my target number. These are youngsters who currently identify as lesbians. Maybe some of them are, are bi and uh, some in the series are trans men from different places. And the project was captured in Zimbabwe. Uh, I worked in Uganda. I worked in Botswana. And I work mostly in South Africa. Some have described her work as abrasive. Perhaps abrasive is the right kind of approach to open up the dialogue on the cruelties of society. The blank or the open space here represent a, a person who have lived but no longer there. This space would have been for someone that, that I would have liked to uh, 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 photograph, but that person passed before time. Yudis, uh, Yudis Melanie would have been here. Her portrait would have been here. Sizagele Sigasa's portrait would have been here. That other blank would have been a space for Bo Simsibi. That other gap would have been a space for Zoli Swankonyana. These are the young women um, who have since passed or who were brutally killed or who died um, after uh, they, they experienced uh, homophobic hate crimes.